good afternoon. I want to show you how to make a one log campfire that in my opinion is the best campfire you can have. Now you're going to need a chainsaw. I've just got a little Husqvarna 445 chainsaw is all I'm going to be using today. And you're going to need to have some dead wood. You can't be doing this when it's green. So you're going to want some wood that has been sitting, you know, probably three to four years at least to make this work correctly. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Right there, we've got our chunk of firewood right there. You can see that. So I'll show you what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Right there, you basically have counted out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chunks of firewood, and you can carry all those easily. And right in there, see that hole created right there? I'll show you what I do with that next. Welcome back, and I'm going to show you the next phase of this one log campfire. So I've got cotton balls, citronella oil and matches and chopsticks so take this jar with the cotton balls and i'm going to pour a little citronella oil in there get those cotton balls soaked and what i do usually is i will put about half a jar full of cotton balls soak them up good and then i can store them for quick fire starters but i'm just doing this for the video so i'm just doing a few of them i'm a little worried about publishing this video these chopsticks are from the house i think that's my wife's favorite jar might be my funeral for the next video so then i'm going to take this uh, soaked cotton ball remember that hole in the cross cut Goes right down in that hole there. I am not good at chopsticks. You can use whatever you want, but I just grabbed chopsticks because that's what was there. And you can put however many cotton balls down in that hole you want. See that? Can't even get it in the hole. That didn't sound good either. So, put that in there. And the next thing is the matches. So then you just take and light the match, put it in, and your campfire is started. Let that burn for a while, and you've got your campfire. I'll show you a little top view. You can look down and see how it's progressing with the burn. It's starting to burn those wedges from the inside out. And it only intensify as it keeps burning. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is to make sure when you're done with all these cross cuts that all the sawdust is cleaned out of these cuts in here because you want that cleaned out so that way your airflow comes into the fire from all different angles creating a nice airflow for your fire. And this one doesn't need it, but I've run into a few that after the cotton balls are burned out, they need a little encouragement. So I'll sometimes take this oil and just pour right in the middle there. Give it a little encouragement. It may not be smart, but 
I do it. The rain is coming and I've got to pack up. Did not know it was going to rain, but now you can see how I do a one log campfire. So the key thing is make sure you have really good seasoned wood and clean those cross cuts out because that's where you get your airflow. Fill that center up with cotton balls soaked in citronella oil. Light it up. Give yourself 15, 20 minutes, sometimes half hour, depending on the wood. You're going to have yourself a nice one log campfire. We just got blasted with that thunderstorm and now it quit. So I came out here to check it out. That's what it looks like after going through. I don't know how much rain we got, but we got blasted. As there you can see. We got a lot of rain in a short time. And I think it took care of the flame, but that thing is still coaling up and boy, she still feels really good. It's nice and warm. Gives you an idea how that burns out. 